Hello guys, RG here, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a vanilla Minecraft server. And I've divided the video in four separate parts, and every part will be in a separate video. Also, I've divided every video into the things we'll do, so you can see what, we'll, what we're doing next. This list will be also be in the description, as well as the link to the video, if it's out. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. Today, we're doing the introduction. Uh, which I did just did, and next the required materials and programs. Then we're downloading your release server, which is a full release like 1.7.10 or 1.5.2, or a snapshot server, which is like 14w2032c or 13w51a. Next we're gonna set up the server, and then we'll joining your local network server. So yeah, let's get straight into that. So, the required programs and materials are right here. You need an internet browser like Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Internet Explorer. Um, and Minecraft, the full version, not a hacked client that won't work today. So yeah, that's all. Next, go to Minecraft.net and yeah, search here for the already bought game, download it here. Tab. And this will bring you to the download for the Minecraft.exe. You won't need that today, you're heading down. And here, you're, if you're running Windows and you just want to set up the server easily, download Minecraft Server.1.10. .exe. This is your latest version over here. So if you're in 1.8 or I don't know a lower version, which probably one. No, okay. Don't mind that. Uh, if you're in 1.8 point, I don't know six. This one will be 1.8.6. So, but it's 1.7.10 for me. So click download, and it will start to download right here. So wait for that to finish, and I'll be back here with you. So when your server finished downloading, which shouldn't take too long, just drag it to your desktop, and this is the way to do it in Minecraft or in Google Chrome. And yeah, there you go, your Minecraft server is right there. Then make a folder, and this is how you do it. This is just in Dutch, don't mind that my computer is Dutch, I'm Dutch, okay. Just that, but call the folder however you want, so I don't know, Minecraft, Server tutorial. Ah, I would spell something wrong. Um, but yeah, just something you know that your server is inside it because if you call it something like I don't know Eclipse, <laughs> just searching for one of my programs on my desktop, or RAM Cleaner <laughs> for example, nah, it won't work. So, but yeah, just drag your server inside your folder and go into your folder, and there it is. So, um, if you're new to setting up a server um yeah this doesn't matter because yeah this is the first way you are doing it but if you're known with this uh, it will be a bit different in 1.7.10 um yeah it will be different than in 1.6 or something so what you need to do is double click this and wait and logs will come up that screen will quickly come up and will go down and you should have the server the properties file the logs file and the EULA file and your Minecraft server still. Um, then you go into EULA. Oh god, that's big. <laughs> I changed the font size so you can read it. But yeah, here we are. By changing the settings below to true, you are integrate um, in this indicating your agreement to EULA. And that's just depending that you are running a server and everything that happens to your computer. Um, it, Minecraft of our Mojang isn't responsible for that. So um, by changing this to true, press Ctrl S to save, or I don't know, save right here, um, and clicking out of it. And now run your server again, and then wait. And there you go, Minecraft server pops up. And as you see on the left, all kinds of files are created. You have world, band, things, 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 things. Um, user cache, server properties, oh you had already that one, ops. Um, and your login chat is right here. So now what you need to do is type stop right here. Never ever press the X or the, the cross because it will totally crash your server and you need to re-download this one. Um, so yeah, if you press the cross once and your server are, isn't working anymore, just delete this one and download a fresh one put it in again and it should work but yeah just enter stop in the text here below so I'll do that again stop enter and wait till this closes there you go so now you have a 
yeah, you have kind of a server. So, well, uh, yeah, let's see for the next step on this. Joining on your local local network. Oh, that's not what I searched for. Um, so, yeah, let me prepare something and I'll be back. So, to join your own server, you need to add your IP address of your computer, I think. I, I, I think it's a computer. Um, but, yeah, to do that, you need to go into your server, the properties file. But when you click it, you should get an error. And that's cool because your computer doesn't know how to open e.properties file. So, if you left click and there isn't an open with, so you just go all the way down to properties, which is ironic because you're opening a properties file with properties. Um, but yeah, just go to properties and go to edit, um, or edit something like that. It's, um, yeah, <laughs> you'll find it and just, yeah, find your opening software. So we're starting off with notepad, just plain notepad. And then it should change everything on your computer. Every dot every properties file in your computer is now now has this icon. Just uh, apply and OK. And now if you open it, you should get this. And it's really big because, as I said, my font size is still really big. But you should get all the way down. Let's make this bigger. Um, let's get all the way down to server IP. And there should be nothing there. Because, yeah, a plain thing can't know your server IP. So... Let's close out of that, and let's get to know your server IP. So, to get your server IP is rather difficult, because it's different on all kinds of Windows and Mac systems. So, the easiest way to get there um, is, yeah, which is similar for every um, Windows computer, is pressing the Windows key, which has the Windows logo on it, and R at the same time, so the key R. Um, in which you write my name <laughs> uh, and at and uh, yeah the Windows key at the same time and you should get this run screen and then when you sit open just press CMD okay and you should get this um, and in some occasions um, when you press anything in there you'll see what we'll do next it doesn't work at the same time um, or at the same time, it just doesn't work because you don't have the rights in my case. So if you're on Windows 8, just open it as administrator. So go here, and then um, call, yeah, command prompt, and you'll yeah get a message, and then you're opening it as administrator, and it will work. So yeah, that aside, um, you're in the command prompt, which is this, and then uh, what you need to do is type ipconfig. And there you go. You get a whole bunch of messages. Actually, it's not that much. So can we make this bigger? Yeah, slightly bigger. Right. Oh, that's not what I meant. So here we are back in the IP config. And what you need to do is you need to go all the way down to wireless LAN adapter. Uh, or in, under Ethernet, if you have an internet cable, but I have Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, head down there and search for your IP4 address. In my case, it's 192.168.0.104. And most of the time, that 192.168 is the same, so that makes it easy. Um, but this is basically your server address. So head into your server, find server IP, and type it in. So 192.168, oh, that's 8068.0.104. There you go. Server IP. Save. Oh, and that's that aside. There's only one thing left to do, and that's testing your server. So, go into Minecraft, server 1.7.10, and it should boot up. And yeah, that's how you run your server. This is all it. You can even type messages and just Minecraft commands. So if I say hi, it should say that in the chat if there was something on the server, but there is nothing. So yeah, let's head into Minecraft and join a server. Um, and yeah. So when you're in Minecraft, there's one thing you need to do is go to multiplayer. And you can add a server or direct connect. So I'm going to add a server. I'm just going to call this tutorial real quick. And then your server address is the same address as you did before. So it's this. And this changes per computer, so it's no reason to copy this. You can't, uh, yeah. There's something you need to notice. Um, yeah, people like your friends, they can't join your server now. You need to port forward and such. It will be in part three. Um, but yeah, 
just you and everyone on your local IP address. So ev everyone who um, is on the same Wi-Fi network as you. So if you have two computers, you can join your server with two computers. That's how it works. But yeah, when you did this, press done. See what it is. I think it's all the way down below. There you go. Um, and yeah, you can wait. And there you go. Tutorial and a micro server, 20 players left. So yeah, let's join the server. You get a logging in screen. Downloading the terrain. And there you go. Let the, the world load. Uh, and yeah, you're in survival mode. So you can break blocks. Oh my god, the lag. <laughs> um, but yeah. All works fine. We can make something like sandstone now. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, if you have some brothers, or, I don't know, they can join your server now and play w together with you, which is really cool and nice. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. This was the basic server setup, part one. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time in the next episode. Or the next part, I need to say. Bye! <laughs>